What's going on everyone? Justin here with J-Heart Doors. Uh, today we're going to be doing a coonskin. We're going to be tanning them out. So we're going to start with the fleshing process of them and work all the way to the tanning process. This will be a couple day long video. They'll be pieced together kind of like the uh, deer tanning video was. But uh, yeah, we're going to dive right into this. We'll start with the fleshing and we'll go from there. So. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. Alright, now for this step, we just threw our hide onto our flushing beam, and we're just going to take our flushing knife and run it down the coon here from the top of its neck all the way down to the base of its tail. I'm not going to worry so much about the head here because I'm probably not going to use the head this coon here will be used to make a kid's cap so I likely will not use the head so I'm not going to worry too much about it here but uh, we want to get all of our leftover meat off from the skinning process as well as all of the excess fat off of this coon that way our salt will soak into it better which in turn will set up our tanning solution to soak into the hide better as well so we're just going to take this hide, flush them all out, and move on from there. A couple side notes here. If you want to get your fat to harden up, kind of like it does here in this portion of the video, uh, stick it in the refrigerator the night before you decide to flush. That way it's hardened up, it'll ball up, and make it a lot easier to push off of your hide. Uh, two other things here, we're not going to worry as much about the edges of this coon just because like I said earlier it's going to get turned into a cap so the edges of the raccoon will not be used and like I said we also will likely not be using the head so we're not going to worry too much about him we'll just run our regular skin and knife over him real quick just to get the topical layer of fat and whatever else off of his head. Alright, so since we're using this raccoon to make a skin cap, we're just going to take him and we're going to split him from the middle of his stomach all the way up to his, the middle of his bottom jaw. Alright, so now we're just going to take our knife and trim up the sides of his cheek, make him look pretty. We'll keep his head still to use for a possible later project, though he won't be used for this hat. But after that's all done, we have our flushing portion of the video complete. Alright guys, for this part, we're going to sew our hide to try to take the grease and the fat out of it. A raccoon's about two times as fat, and has about as twice as much grease as any other fur bearer. So we're going to salt them and then we're going to put them in a salt bath. So we're going to do two times the salting on this guy just because he's got so much fat and grease on him. So I'm just taking my salt and rubbing it into the coon here. Just getting a little bit on him before we put him in the uh, salt bath. Just real quick here. Alright, so that should be good. Now I'm just going to take the rest of my salt, put it in my water solution here, and break it up a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to put the coon in there. You're just going to take them and put them into the salt water. Just dip them down under. I like to break the salt up a little more while I'm in there. If you don't have 
frozen salt, then your salt will just dissolve in the water, which would be best for you. But in my case, I have to break my salt up. You can see it's in a clump. But the water that's in here is just regular tap water. You're just going to run your water as hot as it'll go from the tap and just stick your stuff in there, your salt in there, and then you'll let your water cool to room temperature. And that's it. So now the coon's in there. We'll leave them set overnight. That's it for the salting process. Uh, I'll get them out after the salting, the night worth of salting is done and we'll wash them off with Dawn dish soap. So that's it for this part two. All right guys, this is the next morning. You can see our bucket full of nasty here. This is just our raccoon hide uh, that was soaking in this bucket of salt water. And you can see the leftover chunks of fat that didn't come off during the flushing process uh, have come off with the salt. The salt is taken. You can see the fat and the grease just floating on top here. So that's exactly what we wanted. So now we're going to take our hide and we're going to wash it off in the sink with Dawn dish soap. So we'll reach in here and grab our guy. So we're just going to wring them out here, get the leftover salt water off of them, and take them straight to the sink and give them a nice little thorough Dawn dish soap bath. Dawn does a great job in taking off the excess grease or the leftover grease off of our hides. And since coons are about twice as greasy as any other fur bearer, we want to make sure that we do this step well. So we're going to finish washing them up here. We'll take them upstairs, throw them in the tumble dry, and then move on to our next step. Alright guys, so now we are on to the actual tanning process uh, for our coon skin here. And to tan this, we're going to be using this Deer Hunters and Trappers Hide Tanning Formula. I'll leave a link to this product in the description. Uh, during season, it's usually about seven or eight bo bucks a bottle, but I think I looked on Amazon the other night, and it's actually up to like fifteen bucks a bottle. So it's pretty high price for something out of season. It's made in the USA, though, so I mean, it works. Here, we're just gonna take our tanning formula and spread it onto our hide and work it in evenly with our hands. We want to make sure we spread it to every little crack and crevice of the animal to ensure we're getting an even tan across the entire hide. This step here should only take between two and five minutes to have the job completely done. All right, so after we have our solution on there, uh, we're gonna leave them set for the night. So we're just going to take him, fold our arms in, take his tail to his head, trying to keep the flesh on top of the flesh, try to keep the fur out of there. And we're just going to leave him set like that overnight. Uh, for the first night, you leave him set like this. Tomorrow morning, we'll break him up and just keep breaking him each day until he's completely tanned. All right, guys, we're at our final step of tanning our coon hide. So this is the next day. I have my hide here, he's all dried up. Uh, you can see the formula uh, setting in the top half. Remember I said we weren't going to worry about the head as much. It's obviously still a little darker. It is tanned. You can feel it's tanned. Uh, but the body here, what we're going to be using mainly for the hat, is has a nice tan color. So our last step in the video is to actually break the hide. And you've seen this with the tanning the deer hide, it's the same thing. We're just going to take the hide, and I'll show you here, we're just going to stretch it. Now we're just going to break the leather, which means we're going to take our hide and we're just going to stretch them until each fiber of the skin has been broken. We want the skin to separate, that way the formula soaks into it, making it more durable and more pliable. Now we're just going to continue to break this hide until it's completely dry. Once the hide is completely dry, that means the formula has completely soaked into our hide and we will be finished. He is now done. So, 
thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to our channel for more new content. Make sure to check us out on our Facebook page, Instagram, our Store Envy shop. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button right over here to get our new content. Uh, check out our new videos over here. Uh, this one right here is the Hydro Dipping the Deer Skull. That was a pretty cool video. You want to check that out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.